Hello, I'm Dr. Marie Shea. I'm a family doctor, GP. I'm speaking today, to you today from Australia for the program Managing Madness. And what I'm talking about today is the self-checkup, which is a way you can tell how you're doing um, in the moment. And uh, we are going up and down all the time in terms of our moods and emotions. Um, but over a week's kind of period of time, it asks questions that kind of give us a cue um, of how we're doing. And I find that to be very helpful in my practice because patients oftentimes come to me and they don't know what's wrong with them. They might come with the symptom of um, feeling tired, like Mark. And Mark came to me said, and said, I'm feeling tired and I'd like you to do some tests on me to see if there's any cause of the feeling tiredness um, from my blood. So I did some blood work and I didn't find any problems. And he came back when we reviewed the results and he said, well, could I be depressed? And I said, yeah, you could be. Well, let's do the test. And so I gave him this uh, tool called the DASS-21, which stands for Depression, Anxiety, and Stress Scale. And there's 21 questions. And he took that test. And um, he scored quite high for depression and anxiety and stress. So um, it gave us a clue as he kind of knew a little bit, if since the blood tests were normal, there was something maybe going on like that. And another patient came to see me, uh, Julie, and she had just had a hysterectomy and she was worried that her hormones were out of balance and she was feeling so out of whack. Well, we ended up adjusting her hormones and um, giving her some lifestyle changes to try. And she was still feeling off and came to me again with uh, just not feeling well, feeling cranky. Um, husband said, you need to go see the doctor. And she came to see me and I gave her the DSS-21 and she scored again, like um, Mark, very high on her depression and anxiety scores. Um, so both of these patients didn't know um, clearly that they were depressed. They had some idea there was something wrong, but the scoring really helped them to know uh, for sure and, um, and gave them a, a sense of where to go next for help and what they could do. Um, another person came to me, a colleague of mine, who said, um, Ray, I'm just not feeling 100%, you know, could I be depressed? What do you think? Um, I said, well, let's try this DASS-21 scoring. And uh, she did that uh, DASS-21, and she um, came up mild or normal on the stress scores, but a little bit higher than um, the depression and anxiety where she was in the normal ranges. So um, we decided it was more stress and that she needed to take better care of herself and um, ask for help and um, have a... Um, a lower threshold for um, for self-care. Uh, radical self-care is kind of uh, one of my favorite ways of people helping themselves. So um, the other one is to ask for help from other people. Ask your friends and family because oftentimes they can tell you how you're doing um, and it give, give you an objective meter or a subjective meter from their subjective standpoint, but it can be helpful to hear what they think about how you're doing. Um, like with Julie, her husband said, you know, I think you need to go be seen. Um, so the questions on the DASS-21 are fairly straightforward. I'll just read them off to you very quickly. Um, and it asks about the, for one week, how have you been feeling over the past week? And the answers are zero, never, one, sometimes, two, often, and three, almost always. And the first question is, I found it hard to wind down. Um, and the second question is, I was aware of dryness in my mouth. Three, I couldn't seem to experience any positive feelings at all. Four, I experienced breathing difficulty um, in the absence of physical exertion. Uh, five, as I found it difficult to work up the initiative to do things. Six, I tended to overreact to situations. Seven, I experienced trembling, like in the hands. Eight, I felt that I was using a lot of nervous energy. Nine, I was worried about situations in which I might panic and make a fool of myself. 10, I felt that I had nothing to look forward to. 11, I found myself getting agitated. 12, I found it difficult to relax. 13, I felt downhearted and blue. 14, I was intolerant of anything that kept me from getting on with what I was doing. 15, I was close, I felt like I was close to panic. 16, I was unable to become enthusiastic about anything. 17, I felt I wasn't worth much as a person. 18, I felt that I was rather touchy. 19, I was aware of the actions of my heart and the absence of physical exertion. Um, 20, I felt scared without any good reason. And 21, I felt that life was meaningless. 
Um, so if you can go through the tool, it's at the end of this video, there will be a link, and you can just click through the answers um, on that tool, and it'll give you a scoring at the end um, for depression, anxiety, and stress. And it's normal, mild, moderate, or severe, extremely severe. Um, so obviously if you're in the normal range, um, it's still good to take care of yourself and um, self-reflect and uh, take time for yourself. Um, if you're in the mild, moderate, and severe range, please seek help. Um, see your GP. Uh, or family doctor, or chiropractor, or acupuncturist, um, or psychologist, but you need to get help. We all need help and we need to support each other. So I think it's really important that we all take time for self checkups. And a lot of that is um, disconnecting from electronic devices, um, getting quiet, um, doing a bit of breathing, noticing our breath, and uh, noticing how our spirits are. And, and um, and many of us forget to do that. We're so distracting ourselves all day long. So I really encourage you to take time for yourself and notice how you're feeling. If you're not sure, take the test. Um, also, you can ask your friends and family. Oftentimes, they'll be very good um, helpers to know if there's something going on with you. All right, I hope that helps, and we'll see you again here back on Managing Madness. Mm -hmm.